Apart from PCB editor's signal integrity analysis, Security Aurora also supports reflection workflow that allows you to analyze your design for reflection violations. So let's get started. In the very first step, we are going to run Security Aurora 17.4 and from the product menu, you have to select either Security Aurora 2 or Security Aurora license and click on OK. Then we are going to open the board file. You can download this board file from the link given in the description. In my case, I have saved it in the desktop. Now after opening the board file, we are going to set up workflow manager, which will find it here. In your case, if workflow window is not opened yet, you can go to the analyze and from here you can open workflow manager. Then from analysis workflow drop down menu, you have to select reflection workflow. After opening the reflection workflow, we are going to set up default models. To do that, click over set up default models link from the workflow manager. Here we are going to change the bi-directional single ended models. To do that, we'll just select this. From here, expand IBCDS default 1.8 volt bi-direction model. And from this menu, you have to select 1.8 volt 1 picofarad and click on OK. Once the model is assigned, we'll click on OK to close this window. After assigning the default models, we are going to assign models to discrete components. To do that, we'll click over assign models from the workflow manager. And as you can see, we have all the discrete component which has no model assigned. To assign the default models to these components, we'll click over auto generate discrete models. And as you can see, the auto generated models are assigned. After that, we'll click over OK to close this window. Now in the next step, we have to select all the nets on which we wanted to run the reflection analysis. To do that, we have to click over select nets link. Once the net selection window is open, we are going to change the view from flat to hierarchical view and select all the data buses. To select all the data buses, we have to move them from the selected nets section. To do that, you have to click over this arrow key and click on apply. OK. So till now we have set up the workflow for reflection analysis. Now we are good to go for start analysis. To do that, click over start analysis link. Once the analysis is done, we are good to go for see the simulation results. To do that, I'm just going to click over view reflection tables link from the workflow. And as you can see here, we have focus data option from there. We can set or focus to any value and sort this table for increasing or decreasing order for that value. In this case, I'm just going to see the propagation delay data and double click here to sort it into decreasing order. And here we go. Parallel data bus 56 has maximum propagation delay, which is 0.58 nanoseconds. Similarly, to know more about this, where this particular trace is located in the board file, we'll click over view reflection vision. Here we go. So as you can see, this is a particular track which has maximum propagation delay. In the next step, I'm just going to plot for reflection. To do that, you have to click over 0.58 nanosecond and it will generate this plot. So similarly, you can see the reflection plot for driver and receiver. And here step response is pretty much bad, which is a clear violation of VIN high and VIN low limit. And similarly, you can check for other values from these links. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.